got to say? <laughs> so, we just finished up squatting, went for some heavy singles, did 405 for two sets of one, and then went up to 455. Failed on the first attempt to 455 for one, then went for it a second time, and I hit it. Uh, just got, I got real angry that I didn't hit it the first time, so you know, I was like, oh, let's go. And I hit it the second time. Now we moved on to deadlift. I usually conventional deadlift. Today I'm gonna try a sumo deadlift thing out. I'm gonna try it out for a couple weeks, I think, uh, because my meat is made fit, and I feel like it could definitely be an advantage to sumo deadlift over conventional uh, for me, being, you know, a long, lengthy guy. So I'm gonna try that out. I'm gonna see how that works out. Um, so right now we got 225 on the bar. We're gonna work up and we're gonna hit some heavy singles uh, just like we did on squat. I'm not gonna go too crazy. This is my first time sumo deadlifting in a while. So we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. So I know I said I was doing heavy singles on deadlift, but I'll be honest, I put 315 on the bar for sumos and that shit felt pretty heavy. So I'm doing 365 now and I'm gonna do that for triples because I don't think I'll be able to go a lot heavier for singles. So I'm doing 365, I'm gonna do triples on this and then that's probably gonna cut my leg workout. All right, what's up? Just finished up that workout or finished up editing that workout, the leg workout that you guys just saw. It's the next day, I'm actually getting ready to go to the gym now, um, or a couple days after. But I realized when I was editing it that I never really explained why I was doing sets of one. And I'm just gonna do that now I'm getting ready. So if you saw, I was doing, when I was squatting, I did a couple sets for a heavy single. And that is because I realized that over the past couple of months since my last meet, I've lost some strength in my legs. Um, and that could be attributed to a couple different things, not eating properly, uh, not training as hard, and not lifting as heavy as uh, normal, as I usually would. So doing these sets of one at a, at a high RPE of like RPE 8, RPE 9, these are gonna help me uh, get my strength back and build my strength as well. Obviously, I'm not going in the gym and one repping, uh, one rep maxing every single time I squat. But you know, doing heavy sets for heavy singles is gonna help me uh, rebuild my strength to where it was and surpass that. As well as with the sumo deadlift, I'm sw I I went into it a little bit, but I switched to that because I went. I reached a little bit of a plateau on my uh, on my conventional deadlift. I just I, I keep getting stuck at pulling 500 again. I pulled it at my last meet, but since then I haven't been able to pull it. And so switching to sumo is going to help me build up my hamstring strength. It's going to help me be able to push with my legs more uh, on my deadlift, which I think I definitely need to do. And all these things are just gonna piece together for my meet on May 5th and it's gonna help me bring the best total I can possible to that meet. So that's why I do those things. Uh, if, you, if you're if you looking to build your strength up, I would definitely recommend start lifting heavier in the rep ranges of one to five reps at most. Uh, not all the time though. You know, you don't wanna be doing one rep all the time. I did it my last leg workout, uh, my last, and 
I'm going to continue doing it to build my strength, but I'm also gonna do sets of like three triples here and there, uh, three by fives, five by threes, and that kind of stuff. You wanna keep the reps low and the weight high. So that's why I did that. Just finished tying my shoes and everything, so now I'm about to go to the gym. I'm about to hit some chest, shoulders, and tries. And if you wanna see that video, it's probably gonna be in the next one. So I'll catch you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.